According to the American Cancer Society, breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer in women. One in eight women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer in her lifetime. While you can have breast cancer without feeling anything out of the ordinary in your chest, finding an area of thickening breast tissue or a lump in your breast can cause anyone to immediately think the worst. If you feel a lump, it's important to consult your doctor. But it's also important to stay calm and know that there are other potential explanations for what could be happening. Here are seven things that can cause a lump in your breasts. Cause number one, papillomas. Introductal papillomas are benign or non-cancerous wart-like tumors that grow in the milk ducts of the breasts. They're made up of gland and fibrous tissue, as well as blood vessels that grow in the milk ducts. According to the American Cancer Society, they may feel like a small lump behind or next to the nipple. Sometimes they cause pain. Papillomas may also cause a clear or bloody discharge from the nipple, and they are most common among women ages 35 to 55. It's possible to surgically remove the papilloma, along with the part of the duct it grew in. Having just one papilloma usually doesn't carry a higher risk of breast cancer. Your cancer risk may be raised, though, if you have more than one, if you develop them at an early age, if there are abnormal cells in the papilloma, and if you have a family history of cancer. Cause number two, your period. Many women get lumps and other changes in their breasts before and during their period. Those changes can make your breasts feel swollen, tender, or painful. You may also feel one or more lumps in your breast or breasts during this time because of extra fluid. Period-related lumps often come with achiness in both breasts. You can try over-the-counter pain meds or creams and make sure your bras fit well to limit discomfort. Some women also swear that cutting back on caffeine helps, but the evidence is spotty on that. Cause number three, fat necrosis. Necrosis means fat tissue has died, typically due to an injury, like your seatbelt cutting into your breast or being jabbed by an elbow. Surgery and radiation can also result in fat necrosis. This kind of breast lump isn't cancer, but it can feel that way. Here's Dr. Teresa Beavers, the medical director of the Cancer Prevention Center at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas, with more. In some cases, fat necrosis with calcifications can feel so hard, it will feel like a breast cancer. It may be even scarier if the damage doesn't show up for a year or two after the original injury, by which time you may have forgotten about the incident. Head to the doctor to check it out, but if it is fat necrosis, you'll probably leave it alone. Surgery also is trauma, so if we cut out fat necrosis, there's a high probability that it can recur. Cause number four, fibroadenomas. Fibroadenomas are benign or non-cancerous tumors of the breast. They're most common in girls who are going through puberty or women who are pregnant. These fibroadenomas are made up of breast gland tissue and connective tissue, and they often feel firm and rubbery and are easily movable under the skin. They're also usually painless. Doctors can often tell if a lump is fibroadenoma from either an ultrasound or a mammogram. Fibroadenomas may be left in place or surgically removed, the latter of which usually happens when biopsy results are unclear or the lump grows larger. Cause number five, fibrocystic breast changes. According to the American Cancer Society, many breast lumps turn out to be caused by fibrosis and or cysts. These non-cancerous or benign changes in breast tissue are called fibrocystic changes, and they're most common in women of childbearing age, usually in their 30s or 40s, but can also affect women at any age. Breast fibrosis means you have extra connective tissue in your breast that can feel lumpy. This is the same kind of tissue that makes up ligaments and scar tissue. Cysts are small fluid-filled sacs, which are usually round and can also move around your breast. They can hurt and the pain often gets worse before your period. Cysts go hand in hand with fibrosis. No one knows what causes these fibrocystic breast changes, though experts believe they may be linked with monthly hormones. Fibrocystic breast changes don't raise your risk of breast cancer. However, if an ultrasound reveals that a cyst contains both fluid and solid matter, or only solid matter, you have what's called a complex cyst. These growths need to be biopsied, as they might up your risk of cancer slightly. Cause number six, phylloides tumors. Phylloides tumors are a rare type of lump, representing only 1% of all breast tumors. They grow in leaf-shaped patterns, hence their name from the Greek word for leaf-like. Phylloides tumors tend to occur in women in their 40s. They tend to be lobular or more lumpy feeling, but not as hard as a cancer feels. While most of these growths are benign and don't increase the risk of cancer, they do need to come out. If they are not removed, they can grow uncontrollably, even though most are benign tumors. 
When it's surgically removed, the entire tumor has to be completely removed. If even a few cells remain, it will start growing uncontrollably again. The good news is benign phylloides tumors rarely metastasize. Surgeons usually take out some of the tissue around a benign phyllodes tumor to reduce the chance of it coming back. If the tumor is cancerous, treatment is either a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. Cause number seven, breast cancer. A lump or mass in your breast is the most common symptom of breast cancer. These lumps are usually hard and painless, though some can be painful at times. But not all types of breast cancer present with a lump. Invasive ductal carcinoma is the most common type of breast cancer that women develop. It occurs in the ducts and often presents as a mass. Invasive lobular carcinoma tends to present more as a thickening in the breast rather than a mass. If you do find a lump in your breast at any time, even following an annual wellness visit or mammogram, don't hesitate to let your OBGYN know so they can decide any necessary next steps. 